What's up, everybody? Welcome to Lisa Upside Down. My name is Lisa, and today I have another Pilates class for you. This Pilates class is going to be in Tabata style, as always, which means 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. 20 seconds of busting your ass, 10 seconds of catching your breath. We are doing it for the better part of an hour. This is being recorded during my 6.30 a.m. Zoom class. They are directly below you. Today, we are going to be rocking out to my Spotify, at Lisa Eileen. You could follow me if you would like to listen to the same jams we are, which is going to be the playlist Garage IHP-ish number four. If you want to listen to your own jams, do that. If you want to follow along to what we're listening to, do that. If you want to listen to me jabber on for an hour aimlessly in my garage, you can do that too. It's a little awkward, but have at it. Let's talk torture devices. I pulled out <laughs> a lot of the stops today. Today, I have a resistance band. I have dumbbells. I have a kettlebell. And I also have blocks. I've got all the things. You can follow along to this workout if you have none of those things and you just have your body weight. That is absolutely okay. If you've got your arsenal ready, grab them, pull them out. Let's get ready to go. But let's first talk about safety. Safety is my number one priority, so please, above anything that I am telling you to do, if your body says no, don't be an asshole, stop what you're doing, and make sure you're staying safe. I think that's it. Grab your water, grab a towel, get on your mat, get your mindset going, and let's get ready to have a great class. All right, you guys ready? I better ready? <sighs> All right, let's get down. Find the child's pose all the way down. Stretching up those shoulders, coming up onto your fingertips. Just start to pull your shoulders down your back and pull your fingers towards the top of your mat. Trying to space out every joint in your arm. Okay, walk those fingertips over to the right, left hand on top of your right. Breathing into that left side now. Take a nice deep inhale over there. And let it go. Okay, walk those hands over to the left. Eh, got all my torture devices in the way. Right hand on top of left. Walk your hands over as far as you can with keeping your sits bones on the heels, on your heels. I don't know who else's they would be. Take a nice big deep inhale into that right side lung. Open it up. And let it go. Good. Come all the way back into the center and bring yourself up into that tabletop position. Walk your hands over to the outsides of your mat. Your knees might want to follow just a little bit. You'll be dipping the inside of your shoulder to the center of the mat. Exhale in this position. Nice big deep inhale as you transfer from side to side. Take it up and over. Inhale, exhale. You want those shoulders to stay down. Your elbows pointing down towards the back of the room. Maybe up. Maybe you play with the angles. Feel what feels good to you. It's not pulling too much on that neck. Good, find two more. This one. Okay, come back up and find that tabletop position. Spread out those knees. Get those knees nice and wide and thread the needle. I want to open up those hip flexors for you. Bam, pop in mine. Take that right hand under your, ow, under your left armpit. Left hand comes up. Maybe it finds behind you. Maybe it finds your right hip crease. Pull that shoulder away from your ear. Create space in your neck. Just feel that twist in your spine. And because your knees are out wider than your hips, you're gonna feel that pull in your hip flexor. Good. Rewind. Push yourself back up into that tabletop position. And take it to the other side. Left hand comes up, swoops under that right armpit. Right arm comes up, maybe it finds the left side of the room, and maybe finds your left hip crease. Again, same idea. Pull that shoulder away from you. Create space in your neck. Feel that twist in your spine and the openness of that left hip flexor. Okay. 
good. Reverse, come all the way back into that tabletop. Oh. Tuck those toes and find that down dog. This being possibly your first down dog of the day. If it's 6.30 in the morning like it is here, it sure is my first down dog. Walk it out left, right, right, left. You stretch out those ab muscles by pulling your heel to the ground and spinning those hips. You want to stretch them out because they're going to be working in just a moment. Good. All right. Here's that left leg all the way up to the ceiling. Bring knee to nose, land that foot in between your hand and come all the way down. Find that low Anjanasana. You want to take those hands and just start to push down on that hip. Open it up. Maybe you lean back a little bit, just opening up that psoas muscle. Good. Push through that front heel and bring yourself into that half monkey. Fingertips come to the ground, chest comes forward. So just stretch out those hamstrings. Okay. Take those fingertips to the outstep of that foot. Let the blade of that foot fall to the ground. Chest forward, spin into the side. Okay, coming back into that half monkey. Right, place the sole of your foot back on the ground by that low Anjanasana. Just bounce for a second more. And then bring those fingertips to the ground, pop that back toe under, and come back into that down dog. Good, right leg rises up, same idea, other side. Bring yourself into that low Anjanasana. Push, push, push. Open up that hip flexor. So I got loose hip flexors. So if you're back here, this is doing the same thing as long as you're feeling that stretch in your hip flexor. All right, push yourself through that front heel. Flex out that foot, take that chest towards your toes. You want that nice straight spine. Hips are directly over that back knee. Okay, take those fingers to the outstep of that leg. Let the blade fall to the floor, stretching the outside hamstring. You're gonna hit all three, I promise. Okay, come back into that half monkey. Set your sole of your foot on the ground. Whoa, find that low Andre Nasana. Perfect. Fingertips to the ground, tuck that back toe, bring yourself all the way back into that down dog. Good. Walk your hands to the back of your mat. Walk your feet to either side of the mat. So in that nice wide leg forward fold and bend it all the way over. Good. Left hand in front of right foot. Right hand comes all the way up to the ceiling. As you're doing this, you're gonna be pulling your hips to the right. You're working on stretching that inside hamstring on that left leg. Maybe those right fingertips come to the left, just as you did when you were threading your needle. Maybe they come to your hip flexor. Good, unwind, come to the other side. Right hand in front of left foot. Left hand comes up, maybe goes to the right side of the mat. Maybe hooks into your hip crease. Good. Unwind. Find that wide leg forward fold. Heel till your feet in. Take a seat. I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. Everybody ready? Okay. We are starting with one of my favorites, my crunchy frogs. I love them. They make me happy. So let me talk about them to you if you've never done them before. Haha. <laughs> I forgot I have Matt burn on my back. 
<laughs> I remember now. <laughs> okay, so soles of your feet are together. Knees are out, kind of like a butterfly position. Your fingers are decorating the back of your head. Don't pull on your head. They're just there for decoration, all right? Coming up, bring those knees to your elbows, elbows to your knees. Come right back down, tap those toes. Tap those knuckles and come right back up. Right, right back down, right back up, right back down. As you come up, you're gonna pop this tailbone up off the ground, pop your shoulder blades up off the ground, all right? Use those abs, contract them all. Set yourself up. It's gonna be a long class. Ready? Let's go. Take it up, take it back down. The rolling of this tailbone off the ground is kind of important. It's half the point. The other half is to get those shoulder blades up nice and high. So you're to make sure that you're doing both halves. Coming up. Change. All right, round two. It's me. If you've taken any class of mine before, you know my favorite thing to do is pulse. So you're going to take that tailbone up, shoulders up. Let's go right now. Pulse it, pulse it, pulse it. Elbow to knee. Pulse, 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 pulse. Stay up nice and high. All you're doing is rolling that tailbone up off the ground. Using your abs to get that tailbone up. Change. Ugh. Come on down. Oh, I'm still sore from Monday. Ready? Full range. Let's go. Crunchy frogs. Bring it up. Take it down. What the heck day is it? Is it Wednesday? Oh, my God. Yep, I'm sore from Monday. Ugh. All the way up, all the way down. Pop that tailbone up, get up nice and high. Breathe through it, change. We're pulsing. <sighs> Find that tailbone, roll it up. Use those abs to pull that tailbone up off the ground. Let's go, pulse right here. Mm -hmm. If you are tempted to pull on your head, let go of your head. Notice I'm not even holding it. I'd rather you get this elbow to knee action, shoulder blades up off the ground, than to hold your head. That's not the important part. Change. Oh, your brain will be fine if you just let it fly in the air. Full range of motion. All the way down, all the way up. Four angle. Nope, not four angle, not yet. Oh, preview. <laughs> it's like a teaser. <sighs> now you know what's coming next. I meant to say full range, crunchy frogs. Well, my back is making obscene noises on the mat. If you hear it, it's not me, I swear. Change. You got pulses. Round three. Ready? Set it up. Let's go. Find it right here. Mm -hmm. Pop that tailbone. Stay up nice and high. Keep those shoulder blades up off the ground. Tap elbow to knee. Keep those knees out wide. Change. Ooh, release. One more. One more full range. One more pulse. Set it up. Ready? Let's go. Tap those toes all the way to the ground. Keep those knees out wide. Really use your ab muscles to pull you up. Shoulders off the ground. Find that full range, change. Going for your last set of pulses. Ooh, I already can't see. Ready, set yourself up. Let's go, pulse it out right here. Roll, so as you're rolling up off the ground, what's happening is your abs are getting lots of use to pull you in half. Change. All right. As I said, four angle crunchy frogs are next. <sighs> With my little teaser. All right. So you're gonna take your left ankle on your right knee, okay? I'm gonna take this right elbow. It's the same movement of up and down, but now you have this cross motion. So you're gonna take this right elbow to that left knee as you come down, down, up, down, up. Still tapping that toe on the ground, 
but you really want to get that nice little spin in there because you're working those obliques on the right side. Set yourself up. Ready? Let's go up and down. Full range. Same idea with that pulling of the head. If you're tempted to pull on your head, let go of your damn head. Make sure you come out completely straight in between each rep. Change! Guess what we're doing? We're pulsing! Of course we are! Set yourself up, get that foot nice and high, roll that tailbone up and let's go. All right, so I find that to pulse in this position, it's a lot easier if you flex those feet. What that does is it engages those leg muscles so you're not flopping all over the place. That stays still as you're trying to pulse to the side using those obliques. It's easier to isolate those obliques this way. Change, hoi, 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 hoi. Full range, same side. Ready? Set it up. Let's go, full range, all the way down, all the way up. Tap that toe. Ooh. Make sure you get that spin. Try for all the way, elbow to knee. Use those oblique muscles. Change. One more pulse and then we'll switch sides. <sighs> Ready? Of course you are. You're a badass. Ready? Let's go. Take it up. Pulse. Flex those feet. Let your obliques work for you. Your obliques now are what's pulling, 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 pulling. The tailbone up off the ground. This little spin isolates those obliques. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Don't pull on your head. Change. <laughs> Change sides. All right. Right ankle, left knee. Same idea. Other way, full range of motion to start. Let's go. Take it up to the side, right back down. Get that full spin in there. You almost there, get that elbow to me. Roll that tailbone up. Change. You're pulsing. Flex those feet. Set yourself up, find that elbow to knee connection first, and let's go, right here. So, it's all in this tailbone, right? It's all in this little pull from the tailbone. Not kicking, not kicking your leg to get you up. That's A, cheating. B, not the exercise. <laughs> you wanna roll that tailbone up because that's not doing anything for you, just a kick. Change, if you want full range. Round two. Set yourself up. You don't have to let me. Ready, let's go. Pull to the side. Really find that elbow to knee. And even though this leg is coming up and down, I'm still not kicking, I'm still not cheating, I'm still not using it. It's just getting that range of motion change in my oblique. Ready? Pulsing. Last time I'll move on, I promise. Set it up. Let's go. Flex those feet. Pull that tailbone up off the ground. Don't pull on your head. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Don't kick that leg. <laughs> you got it. Change. Hi, hi. Roll it up. You're not done though. All right. So I got Russian twists today. You can do these with your feet on the floor or you can fly your feet up. Let me talk about this though. Grab some weights if you want them. Okay, so Russian twists can get into your hip flexors and hurt your hip flexors if you are not doing them correctly and if your abs are not as strong as you'd like them to be. So what you wanna do is find your tailbone, <laughs> sit on your tailbone, and then roll back a little bit. Chest up, so you're not rounded. So chest up, rolling back, sitting back behind your tailbone. If you are flying your feet and you feel it in your hip flexors, drop your feet and sit up a little bit more straight, okay? That'll pull it back into your abs. You wanna keep it in your abs. 
Now, what the hell are we doing? We're gonna take these weights or just your hands, whatever you want. You're gonna take them from side to side to side. When you come to the side, I want you to spin as far as you can, trying to almost touch behind you because I want those obliques to fire up. Side to side. See, my chest is forward. I'm not rounding my back. Chest forward, leading with my chest, okay? If your feet are on the ground, it's the same idea, same movement. Your feet are just on the ground, all right? Set yourself up side to side. Ready? Let's go. Side to side. Why are you leading with this opposite shoulder? Lead with that shoulder. Lead with this shoulder. Keep moving. Keep those legs up if they're up. Unless it's in your hip flexors, change. All right. You're going to take it to one side. We're going to this right knee with this left elbow, shoulder. <laughs> From the side to the side. Let's go. Side, side, side. If you want that. Left leg on the ground, put it on the ground. You're just working this one side down. Keep moving that leg. If it's hurting this hip flexor, just move your torso to the side. All right, change. Full rush into a side to side. Set yourself up, round two. Ready? Sit back, let's go. Make sure you're leading with that chest. You can cross your ankles if it helps. The other way <laughs> it feels better. Stay close to your body. Change. All right. Now taking this right shoulder to this left knee. To the side. To the side. To the side. Set it up. <sighs> Let's go. Right. Yeah. And if your hip flexors are bothering you, just spin your torso. If you're leaning back and spinning your torso, you're still getting that oblique work, right? Same as this. Change. Rush and twist. Ready? Full range. Set yourself up side to side. Let's go. Take it from side to side. Hold those weights in to your chest. Chest up, look up, gaze up, stay up, almost change. Good, we're gonna go side to side like this, okay? Take it back, side to side. So what you were doing, but we're switching sides. Set it up and go, side to side. Really push that shoulder towards your knee. We get there. Lean back, chest up. Don't round that back too much. Change. One more Russian twist. When he's done with these. Yep, set yourself up. And let's go. Okay, keep those weights close. Try to hit behind you. Get that nice spin in there. You got it. Almost, almost change. All right. Put those weights down. We're, do uh, we're doing something else a little bit different instead of side planks. So, if you have a shoulder that's bothering you, or a side that's bothering you, sometimes this is easier. <laughs> not easier. That's not the right word. It's uh, better for your shoulder <laughs> to not do a side plank. It works the same muscles. It's a replacement for a side plank, okay? What we're doing is, you know, this banana position I love so much. I'm just going to roll it to the side and start to kind of pulse like a dying fish, dead fish. I have this conversation a lot about dying in dead fish, <laughs> what this movement is, but do this, okay? You're pulsing up like so, okay? Doing that in replacement of side planks today. <laughs> Let me start our timer because it's longer than 20 seconds. <laughs> Set yourself up. Find that banana position. Heels off the ground. 
shoulders off the ground, roll it onto the fatty part of your ass, okay? Find this and let's go, right here. It is pulsing, right here. Good, so you're using those oblique muscles just like in a side plank, but you're not hurting your shoulder if it's already injured. Anytime somebody calls for side planks, this is a pretty good replacement for those, isolating that oblique muscle without killing your shoulder. Change, I'm all the way down. And find the other side. Okay. Ready? Find your other side, find that fleshy part, and let's go. Pulse, pulse, pulse. You got it. Keep it right here. You can even touch those obliques. Make sure they're firing up like you're expecting them to. Keep moving. Take it slow. You wanna make sure everything's on the ground right here. No arching your back. Change. Hit. Roll it up. Find your plank position. And grab your dumbbells. And put them to one side. All right. Where we're at today is plank, forearm plank with weight transfer. So you're gonna find your forearm plank. Remove the important stuff out of the way. All right, coming into that nice forearm plank. Find your forearm plank first. You wanna make sure you've got that nice alignment with your shoulder directly over your elbow. Widen out those feet a little bit for stability, okay? You're in this kind of a position. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take the weights in the opposite hand, put them beside that arm. Take them from one side to the other. There's gonna be a little bit of teeter-tottering, but if you can help from really swaying your hips from side to side, that means that your core's fired up, and that's what we want. All right, set up your weight transfers. Let's go. All right, if you're doing these, and you're finding that this is not a thing <laughs> that you can do, you can always drop your knees, staying in that plank position, okay? So not here, but you can stay here and still do those weight transfers and you'll get the benefits in those ab muscles, all right? Push through that elbow, push through that shoulder. Now we'll say side to side. Spread out those legs if you need to. Stabilize yourself. Five seconds. Woohoo! Change. Take it down. <sighs> All right. Find this prone position. All we're doing is a Superman variation hold. Okay? So, Superman is this way. Okay? Just floating. Like so. You can come here, or you can bring those hands behind you and pull up in that chest, whatever your shoulders will let you do. All right, set yourself up. You got 30 seconds. Let's go. Find it here, or find it here. What's going on? What we're doing is we're working your lower core and your back, your glutes, your hamstrings, okay? Coming into the mid-back, Holding you up like this is all those back core muscles that we neglect and then end up with pinched nerves, right? So hold it up, strengthen those muscles, change. That was a shout out to my husband that just pinched his sciatic nerve because his yoga teacher wife <laughs> never stretches him out. I'm not the asshole, he doesn't want it. All right, set yourself up. Round two, forearm plank. Weight transfers. Ready? Let's go. Take it side to side. Grabbing with that opposite arm. Take it all the way over. And every time you place that elbow on the ground, make sure it's directly under that shoulder. You're getting there. Keep it up. 
Make sure you're really placing that arm under your shoulder. You're sliding around, fix it. Take it at your own pace. If you need to drop those knees, drop those knees, 10 seconds left. Keep that core tight. Change. All right, come on down. <sighs> Find that Superman variation of whichever kind. If you want your arms forward, or your hands behind your back. Set yourself up. Let's go. Right here. Just hold yourself up. Use those back muscles. Use those glutes. Use the back core. Bring up that chest a little bit more. Look at that. 10 seconds. Hold it up. Knock it off. Five more. Pull it up a little bit more. Change. All right. Roll it up, stand it up. Grab some water. Meet me at the top. All right. What we're going to want is a block and a kettlebell or your dumbbells work just fine. I'm going to awkwardly go off the side of my mat so you can see what's going on. All right, we're lunging. If um, you don't trust your foot to be on a block, that's fine. I'd rather let, let's not hurt ourselves, put your foot on the ground. But if you trust yourself, bring that right foot onto that block and find a lunge. I'm going to hold this kettlebell by the bell part. Okay? You're going to come all the way down to that lunge. You're chilling right here, okay? What's gonna happen is you're gonna take that uh, kettlebell to your instep, nice straight back, and bring it up. Notice my torso doesn't come up, my legs don't straighten. I'm here, I am in that lunge the entire time. This arm is chilling for balance, we're coming up and down, okay? All right, set yourself up, find that lunge. Take it as low as your knee's gonna let you go. And let's go. Take it in that instep and up. Down and up. Stay low. The important part of this is keeping your back straight. Back straight. Worry less about getting that kettlebell down next to your foot and more about your back staying straight. Change. All right, you're gonna take that lunge and just pulse it. <laughs> this is the pulsing class. Ready? Let's go. Right here. Pulse, pulse. You can take that weight into your chest. Make sure you got that good alignment. Your front knee is over that front ankle. Your body is over that back leg. Just bouncing. Knock it off. You want to kind of be on that front toe change for this whole thing, especially if it's on the ground. I'm gonna pull that stiletto heel up. Round two, same side, full range, kettlebell pulls, let's go. Take it down, take it up. Make sure you got that straight spine. Watch that ankle in the front. Make sure it's holding me up. Take her down, take her up, change. Okay, you're gonna pulse, same idea. Come down nice and low. Find that kettlebell near your chest. Well, let's go. Pulsing right here. Good. Again, if you can bring that heel up, bring that heel up. Somewhere between flat footed and stiletto. <laughs> Anywhere's good. Push through. You got it. Change. One more. Full range. Same side. Grab that bell, find your lunge, straight back, let's go. Take it down, push it up. All the way down, stay low. And as you come forward, bring that chest forward to that wall in front of you, that helps your back stay straight, change. 
pulsing one last time set yourself up and let's go take it low <laughs> find that nice bent knee bring that heel up in the front just chill <laughs> you're almost there stay low almost change all right take it to the other side same idea starting with that full range kettlebell pull ready let's go take it down and up make sure you're standing when you stand come over that back leg down and up find your balance Whoa, I say as I fall over, change. <laughs> Set it up for those pulses. Ready? Let's go. Take it low. Ooh, my knee hurts. Almost. Stay low. Stay over that back knee. Find your alignment. Chest up. Gaze up. <laughs> change good full range of motion kettlebell pulls ready let's go take it down take it up oh i'm way less balanced on this side it's my knee man all the way up and pull that weight all the way to the ceiling all the way up change if you find yourself toppling over get ready for pulses your weight might be a little too heavy for a one-sided thing pulse let's go so i find even though i can manage the heavier weight doing these i'm all over the place so technically i can't <laughs> handle that heavier weight right i think i can but i can't so find a weight that's maybe lighter, change if you find yourself falling all over the place. All right, round two, three. <laughs> Let's go, take it down, take it up. Ah, lost count. Find it down, find it up. Straight sign, reach, reach. Change. One more. Pulse it out. Ready? Let's go. All right, come low. Low, 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 low. Change. I feel like that was two. Was that two or three? <laughs> if I only did two, I'll just cut it out of the other video. All right. Throw that on the ground. We got burpees. I need to count better. <sighs> I'm a mess today. <laughs> All right, head up to the top of your mat. I don't even care. I'm over them. Head up to the top of your mat. You've got straight up burpees. No funny business. Bring those fingertips all the way to the ceiling. You're going to take yourself down, hands to the ground, hop it back, hop it up, and up you go. Okay? You want to keep as straight as possible when you're coming up and down. If burpees are not your style with a hop, hop, skip, and a jump, take those hands to the ground, step it out once, step it back, and up. If you're not into the up and down today, just march. Just move. Okay? Move your body. Move your body whichever way you can. Set yourself up. You only have two. Ready? Let's go. Take it down. Hop all the way out. And as you're pushing yourself up, imagine you're squatting and coming up from a squat. So you want your weight in your heels coming up. I'm all the way up, all the way down. Make sure when you're hopping out to this plank, change your hips don't dip. I don't want this. Okay. Ready for round two, set yourself up. Let's go, take it down, out and up. Oh. 
Almost. Woohoo. Keep it up. Almost changed. <laughs> cool. Hit the deck. Come on down. Grab some water. <sighs> All right. There we go. I'm playing with weights today. So grab onto them dumbbells. We're going to do a couple weight things. I stand back up a little bit more legs, and you're done. All right? Come onto those knees. Whoo, knees are not a good idea for me. That's okay. <laughs> All right. First ones, you're coming down bicep curls. Just easy bicep curls. Okay. All the way down. Full extension, fully flexed. Ready? Let's go. Right here. <sighs> nice and easy. With that full range. If you don't have weights in your hands, make fists. What that does is activate those muscles that you're trying to work out. Change. All right, we're gonna go from half to full. Half to full. Don't come down all the way. Set yourself up. Let's go. Right here. Half to full. If your elbows are pinned to the side, your shoulders might be by your ears. Take your shoulders away from your ears. <laughs> Unclench the sides of your body with your elbows. Relax, change. All right, we're gonna go full, up, over your head, back down. <laughs> Set yourself up. Ready? <laughs> Let's go. Up, spin those weights, over your head, back down. Up, and back down. And up. Good. All the way. Perfect. You bring those hands all the way up. You're coming right to here. Make sure your chest comes forward, elbows come back, all the way up to right here. Set it up. Let's go. Up and down. Keep moving. Make sure your chest stays out, stays forward. Open collarbone, elbows behind you, change. All right, you're gonna come into this position and pulse right here, like so. Set yourself up. Let's go. Right here, chest forward. Make sure your gaze is up, you're not looking down. Holding it here. Good. Pulling those elbows behind your back. You got it. Change. All right. And you take those hands from here over this way, forward and back. Set it up. <laughs> Ready? Let's go. Forward and back. Keep those elbows up high if you can. Good. And again, if the weights become too much, it's okay to just make big fists. You're still activating those muscles. You're not gonna pull something by doing it in the wrong alignment. Change. Down to my favorites. Chickens, chicken wings. Set yourself up. Ready? Let's go. <laughs> A lot of army things. <sighs> I'm working those vaccines in. Anybody who's had them, keep going. Change. All right. Bring those arms all the way above your head. Bring them down behind your head and right back up, triceps. Coming down. Let's go. Straight up. Down. Straight up. These are the last two. All the way down. All the way up. Fully extend. Find those triceps. Change. Keep those weights behind your head. You're going to bring your elbows together using your chest. Chest muscles pull. Sing. Right? Set it up and go. 
chest, muscle, chest, muscle, okay? Again, if you don't want the weights, it's right here. Pulse, pulse, pulse. <laughs> Big fat titties. It's a song. <laughs> it's perfect. <laughs> Change. Ooh, that couldn't have been better. All right, drop those weights. Get rid of them. <sighs> Come back up just for a moment. Lunges to chair. Grab that resistance band if you have it. If you don't, don't worry about it. Okay, we're going lunge to chair or lunge to squat, I guess I should say, because of the band that's gonna fall off when you bring those legs together. <clears throat> Keep those like that, all right? So you're gonna come from a squat, take this leg back, find that lunge. Squat, lunge, this leg doesn't move, okay? Squat, stick your butt back, squat, lunge, okay? Set yourself up. Let's go. Squat and then again. You can stand all the way in this leg. Usually I tell you not to, but today I want that extension because I want you to squeeze that glute. Squeeze. Walk through your heel. Heel, carrying your weight. Change. Same side, round two. Set it up. Let's go. Take a moment to release. Stay low. Get low. Don't stay low. Come up nice and high. I'm all confused today. I like big holes. Almost. Change. One more. Same side. Right leg. Still doing all the work. Set it up. Let's go, squat, squat. Make sure your squat's even, both legs. Namaste, sit low, chest up, look up. <laughs> James, other side, three, ready? Ground that left foot. Let's go. Down, left side. Whoa. <laughs> All the way down. Ooh, this knee doesn't want to play. <sighs> get low. Chest up, but get low. Change. <sighs> Squeeze that glute. Push through that heel. You got two left. Ready? Let's go. Almost there. Ow. All the things hurt. You got this. Chest up. Look up. <laughs> Almost. Change. Stay by the bell. One more. Ready? Let's go. Last one of these. Come low. 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 Sit back in that heel. Let that glute do the work. Uh, change. All right. Keep this band on. Come on down. Okay, yeah, donkey kicks. Simon says donkey kicks. All right, so we're starting with our right knee off the ground, left knee on the ground. Okay, working with these pulses first. That's number one. When I tell you to, <laughs> you're gonna do something else, but you're not gonna stop, all right? I'm gonna switch up what we're doing, but you got a little bit on either side, maybe a minute and a half per side, okay? Set yourself up, find those pulses. <sighs> Let's go, take it up. Right here, flex that foot, drive that heel to the ceiling, 
Look down, glance down, don't stay like this. Look down at your hips and make sure your hips are square to the ground. Make sure your alignment is good over that knee that's on the ground and hang out right here. And keep that pulse. <laughs> good, you're gonna bring that knee all the way into your chest, full range donkey kick starting now. Bring it in, take it out, bring it in, take it out. Keep this full range. You got it. There you go. Keep it going. Push all the way up, all the way to the ceiling. Make sure your spine is straight. You got this. All right, three seconds. You're gonna straighten out that leg right now. Let's go, pulse right here. Straight out, look at your hips. Make sure you're not spinning to the side. Good, you're gonna hammer your booty with your heel. Right now, bend and straight, bend, straight. Keep that leg up, bend and straight. Keep that, oh, band tight. Leg up as high as it'll go. Change, Woo. take it down, give me some hip circles. Let's work it out. One minute, 30 seconds left of class. Set yourself up on the other side with those donkey pulses. Ready? Let's go. Right here. Flex that foot, drive that heel to the ceiling. Keep that band up nice and tight. Leg up as high as you can. Uh. You got this, flex that foot. Stay with it, five more seconds, you got that full range. Let's go, right now, bring that knee in, take it out, in, take it out. Make sure that heel is going straight to the ceiling, in and out. Check on your alignment, make sure you're good to go. Fifteen seconds left, you're gonna straighten out that leg. You're almost there. This is it. <laughs> You're in the home stretch. Ready? Straighten out that leg. Now, and just pulse. Flex that foot right here. Keep it up. Make sure that knee stays straight. I see a lot of people that do this and just kick. Keep that knee straight. All right, last one. Hammer it in. There you go. Straight, bend, straight, bend. Ooh, keep that leg up. Flex that foot, five seconds left. Ah, change, come on down. Mr. Miyagi. Ooh, take off that band. Find your back and find your happy baby. Oh my God. Grab onto the insides or the outsides of those feet. Straighten it out one leg at a time. Maybe you got that full on straight legged happy baby in there. Whatever feels good, roll with it. You got that one leg happy baby. Take that foot that's bent, and push towards center line of your body. Feels real good. Let's do it over here. Let's go. Get our feet together. Bring those knees into your body. Give yourself a big old hug. You can round that back, rock yourself side to side, up and down, forward. Blah, 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 blah. Good. Release those knees, take them over to the right. Bring your gaze over to the left. That nice little supine twist in there. I always like to finish with this. Gives you time to catch your breath a little bit. Really analyze that body. Think about how you felt at the beginning of the workout and how you feel now. Take those knees up and over. I feel accomplished and freaking tired. All right. Bring 
those knees in. Rock and roll yourself all the way to that seated position. Find that Dandasana. All right, let's do it. Walk, yo, ass, back, keep, yo, chest, forward. Take yourself all the way into that Dandasana. Find that nice straight spine. Once you find that Dandasana with that nice straight spine and you cannot go any further for any longer, then and only then, round that back. Take your forehead to your toes. All right, sit it on up, drag those heels with you, find that Sukhasana. Grab all the love and the light in the room and pull it down to your own heart center. <sighs> Bowing your head in appreciation for yourself and for your practice. Thanks for playing on this beautiful day. Please enjoy the rest of your day, the rest of your week, and the rest of your life. Namaste.